Alright guys, what's going on in today's video? I'm going to be going back into the swing of things with, with photography with a video all about um, ring photography. I've got a ring that is gold and with a black, it's a gold band with a black strip down the middle of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to piece some stuff together to fill out a scene similar to what I did with my watch a couple months ago and I'm going to take some photos of it and I'm going to let you guys carry on the journey with me. Before I do anything else, I need to tidy my office because this is the year that I'm going to get good and I can't be productive if my room is an absolute state of the room that I do these videos in. So I need to tidy up my office. So that's what I'm going to do and that's how I'm going to start this video. So without any further ado, but first off, let's roll my uh, intro graphic first. So yeah, let, I'll see you on the other side of that. Let's roll that. So my office at the moment is in an absolute state for a number of reasons. So after Christmas, this room was just flooded with presents from our families and friends, which we very much appreciate however most of them have been sorted and organized there are still a couple of things that are yet to, that have yet to find a home so that's what i'm doing here on top of that at the end of the month i am running a D, D campaign my very first ever dungeons and dragons one shot very exciting very first time ever doing anything like this all my prep work has been out this weekend because i've been doing a lot of prep work with them and because my desk isn't the biggest in the world I've been I've been using the floor as a secondary desk and putting stuff down on there that that really shouldn't be going on the floor. And as well as that, I played a little bit of my ukulele, which I haven't you we haven't played in months properly, and I want to get back into it. So I played a little bit of that, and then because there was so much stuff on the floor anyway, I didn't I I allowed it to get on top of me. Moving forward, I am going to be trying my hardest to keep this room in tip-top condition and nice and tidy however there will be times when I fail at that and there will be times when I when it gets messy but it's my job to make sure I try and minimize that as much as possible but anyway I'm getting distracted let's continue on with the main section of this video all right so I'm setting up down here I'm using I'm using my panel light and I'm using my uh, aperture AC as like a sort of uh, key fill light, feature light, obviously shooting on my Canon EOS RP and um, I'm going to be using my coffee table, this more laminate reflective one just to help bounce some light off it. All that's left to do is get like the star of the show now I suppose. Uh, let's go get that ring, let's go. Alright, um, I realised in the last shot I didn't have a microphone attached, so I hope that sounded alright. But, got the ring. I'll do some b-roll of it. I'll do, I'll do some b-roll. Um, it is a... I can't remember where I got the ring from. I think, I think I got it from uh, New Look Men, probably, or maybe Primark. But it's just a standard gold band with a black, like, thick black, black strip around the middle of it. So yeah, I'm going to be using this as my primary focus, my primary subject. I apologise if you can hear the um, uh, washing machine on the background. When researching for this week, I found that a lot of ring photography uses a surprising amount of nature and a surprising amount of like foliage and leaves and herbs and stuff like that. If it's not, if there isn't like a twig of time gone through it or a leaf that curled up it's someone wearing the ring holding a bundle of flowers it's a weird maybe maybe not trend but a load of people do the same thing particularly with gold rings that gave me a couple of inspiration i've also got this candle if you follow if you followed um rachel's house instagram account for our house you'll know that rach did this thing where she takes an Ikea candle, some pebbles from Ikea, and this vase from Ikea, and she, put, and she put it together to make a really cool looking candle. And 
the stone, if I take the candle out, because it's not like it's wedged in there, I've got a load of these pebbles that I can very easily just place back in once I'm done with them. So I've got that to play with. The stones might look might not be the best for this ring, because obviously this is a gold ring, and I feel like the stones might do better with the silver ring. However, I'll see how it goes, and I will find out. Um, but yeah, other than that, there's only one thing left to do, really, and that is to take photos of this ring. So yeah, let's go do that. So starting off the um, props finding section, um, I'm moving into the room where the noise is coming from, so I apologise if it's gotten worse. Um, we've recently bought a load of herbs, and I can't remember if we've got... No, that one won't work. I thought we had some time, because that would be like that long sprig of time, but we do not, unfortunately. So, I'll have to deal with something else, using other stuff. Um, we can also use stuff like ropes, because um, we've got this set of, where are they? The set of candles that we've had for years, which has got this nice um, little brown rope wrapped around it. So that should look nice. Um, on top of that, Rachel's parents got us this nice little um, centerpiece for our Christmas table and we haven't finished burning the candle on it so we're still using it so something in there could work. We've also got, I've also got this fake plant thing here which, um, we, hope, which we hang on the door sometimes and then we've also got these fake flowers as well, these false faux flowers that we keep in the window, which we keep on the living room windowsill. So I've got options in terms of the plant stuff that I don't need, and I don't need to worry about not having the exact right materials for, for that side of stuff. So yeah, so I'm going to start off by taking some photos of nature stuff, I'm going to use some of those flowers, I'm going to use some of, um, I'm going to use the centipede, the table centipedes, and let's just get to it. Yeah, so I will catch you guys on the other side of this. That's very bright. See you guys later. Bye. And I'm done. Uh, all of the all of the photos have been taken. Um, all that's left to do now is edit them. And I will, in my usual way, I will put up the final results here. There you go. Let me know which one's your favourite, and let me know down in the comments if you thought the stone part of the photography did work with a gold ring or if you thought it would work better with a silver ring. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I'm curious to know what you guys think. So yeah, I will see you guys uh, next week. See you guys later. Bye!